Tessa from Mama's Geeky here. Thank you so much for stopping by my YouTube channel. You know, you are the first person, outside person, you know, that we've spoken to about the show. Like, really? And, and I, don't, I don't know if you want to do like a, you know, non-spoiler section and then a spoiler section or, or how you want to handle it, whatever you want. But for us, this is interesting, too, because, uh, I mean, I have questions for you, but obviously <laughs> this is your interview. But I I'll ask you a... one thing. Yeah, go for it. Did you, before episode four, have any inclination that they were brothers? No, not at all. Uh, I was completely shocked. I, and it was, it, as soon as that episode was going on, I was like, oh, 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 wait, I think I know. I think, you know, but it wasn't <laughs> until that episode. And then I was like, oh my gosh, I can't believe it. <laughs> uh, so no, I didn't see it coming at all. I thought that was a great That's twist. Great. Yeah, my question is, did you know that the old man was gonna be Zeus? I, not at first, I think I figured it out. I figured it out a little bit earlier than like before they said it, when they started saying stuff. And, and then, plus I know Zeus did that sort of thing, you know, right. in mythology. But I, it, took a, it took a hot minute. And uh, I even said it before and my husband goes, no, nah, I don't think so. I go, I don't, I don't know, he's hanging around a lot. <laughs> he, he's there for like the helpful stuff. And he's like, I don't know. And then I was like, ha, yes. I was right. You were wrong. <laughs> That's funny. Good for you. Uh, we had a lot of talks about that. As soon as I read the script, uh, within like one second, I was like, oh, so he's the uh, father. Is that Zeus right there? And they're like, what? And I was like, yeah. <laughs> so we, we tried to hide it a little bit more as we went through production. Uh, just because I've seen so many of these movies that I was like, oh, no, we gotta. Well, yeah, and I just know Greek without like Zeus, does, like, you know, he goes yeah. and does all sorts of, he could be an animal or a human or whatever, but I know he hides a lot on earth. So I, I kind of figured it out, but um, it's still great. And it's, I think they reveal it early enough on that you're not feeling like everybody figured yeah. it out. You know what I mean? If yeah, it was- we also, we didn't anticipate that the trailer would have- <laughs> Yeah, the reveal. Yeah, the shot of Zeus and then, you know, a big shot of Zeus. So like, yeah, I mean, what are you gonna do? I know. Well, I said that in my reaction to the trailer too. I'm like, I'm afraid I'm going to say too much. I've already seen half the episodes, and then, and then I was like, like there it oh, is. They they said it's Zeus, so I guess I can say that. Yeah. The voice acting is amazing. And so, what's the process like with with uh, casting something like this? We were very lucky, you know, to to get the cast that we did. We got an amazing cast, and and Meredith really was. Uh, the, the casting director, she did an incredible job. And she's so tapped into that world. And, and a lot of the people that she brought in are people that she knows and has a, a rapport with because even smaller parts are amazing. Like, you know, and she just did an incredible job. And, and even she's the one, I don't know, Sean, you know, if you want to describe the process, because like when we record, we've never been involved in anything like that. Coming from live action, this was a whole new process. Like we, you know, you do ADR, but it's always about on set, but it's just amazing how different this is when it comes to animation and the way that they would be directed and how Meredith would direct them and, and how you go through, you know, selecting takes. But I will say like some of the members of our cast are the most talented people we've ever worked with. And to see them work, that's the one thing that's been a great joy. We've always just been consumers of, of animation and anime, but to see like, I just, I hope every writer out there in the world gets to sit with someone like Sean because we would go through the script and we'd be talking like, well, we always, is it, well, how about this? And he would go up to the whiteboard and just start drawing and within two minutes have something that was so cool. That you're just like, oh my God, you see it coming to life. And the same thing happened with these actors and the way that they would direct them, like you would never direct um, an actor in live action that way where she would like Meredith would use words that wouldn't even like, she would just be like, I can't even think right now, but she would say like, you know, cooler. And you would just say like that. And then the, the actors right away, it was amazing to watch. It was like a clinic, how they yeah, could just change a, their delivery like off a, of a one note. She's a savant. Yeah, she's like kind of a super pro. And occasionally, you know, there's uh, there, all of us are in the back room and like Bloss would be like, hey, can, can she say that, you know, like a little higher? And she would just kind of go, when you say higher, are you saying higher pitch, higher volume, higher uh, energy, <laughs> higher whatever? And Bloss like, I, I, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> higher. <So, laughs> there, there's, a, there's a lot of animation uh, terminology stuff. And uh, so Meredith Lane is our, she also casts Castlevania and she worked, I worked with her at Nickelodeon. She sat right across from me uh, like 
15 years ago and she's just like an, a super pro, one of the best. So she does the casting and she also does the voice directing. And, um, and so the process was she just kind of went through her line of uh, actors that she knows and she, she basically gave us, we, we give a piece of script we call sides, we hand them out, they do a bunch of auditions and we listen to all of them together in a room. And uh, she basically told us right away, she's like, you're gonna want Derek and you're gonna want Elias for the, the two brothers. And we were like, we'll see, we'll see. <laughs> and we listened to like, you know, 30, of each and we're like yeah i guess it's these two <laughs> yeah. awesome can i ask you what was your can i ask you what was your favorite scene and and who was your favorite character oh gosh that's hard so i think kara was my favorite character Kara, i, I uh, love she's her. awesome we would love to do my daughter's like dad you have to do a show just about her i love her well, because I feel for her, you know, like I get where she's coming from, you know, I understand she maybe goes a little too far sometimes, but I get it, <laughs> you know, so and favorite scene would be, that's really, really hard because I'm, it's going to sound really awful and morbid, but I kind of like when you, when you see him drop the baby, because that's when you realize that they're brother, like that's kind of like, like for me, that's a horrible, so we'll, we'll pretend it's not. Killing a that's child, great. almost killing no. child. No. But I mean, like that's baby it. death. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but I think because that, like, that's when it like really clicked for me. And then so that scene, but then also just, I mean, the big fight towards the end is great. Like uh, so much of it. Eating the giant, like the literal, like of eating of the giant was super cool. That's cool. There's a lot of really cool stuff. Oh, thank it's hard. You. It's that's hard. Great. That's a lot of the deaths are super cool. Like just arrows through the face or swords through the face yeah. and stuff it's like whoa okay but it's cool uh, that's really fun i'm so glad you said that because uh every time you know someone just would do a normal kill i'd be like mm, but mm, but we yeah. could do something more interesting right because i've done too many kills over time so i'm like no we got to do better so we tried to treat every kill really interesting I was like, we got to blow people away with kills. And then um, I recently started watching The Boys, and I was like, Oh, The Boys, yeah. Damn it, they I have know, good they kills. Got you there. I love them. <laughs> There's some, oh. And that's, I love, like, and it's so weird. And I've said this so many times, I'm like, I'm a weirdo, but I love weird deaths. Like, Final Destination was one of my favorite movies because you just, like, all these off the wall. Because oh. it gets boring after a while, right? You're like, come on, give me a new one. What, what else can you do? Yeah. Sounds yeah, that gross, movie. but. Ooh. Yeah. You have to be original in general nowadays. There's so much stuff out there. And we, Charlie and I talk about it all the time. It's like, what haven't we seen before? Mm -hmm. And so that's very important, whether it's deaths, whether it's characters, whether it's story, whatever it may be, you want to be uniquely familiar. So uh, that doesn't surprise me. And, 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 you know, I would say just to, to your audience, like if they love superhero movies, if they love Lord of the Rings, if they love Star Wars, this imbues a lot of those things. And I love Charlie, when you always talk about how, the Greek gods were the first superheroes. Yeah. Yeah. They're the X-Men, basically. Yeah. They, I mean, I agree. You know, and I had a lot of sus subscribers sending messages and saying stuff like that they were excited for a Greek mythology, like anime. They're like, finally, more Greek mythology and more stuff. And they couldn't wait to see which gods were in it and which ones weren't. And so, you know, there's a lot of people interested. So, you know, fingers so crossed. We, for and we were also interested in that um, because it's, it's rare to see it and when you see it a lot of times it's stylized and you know like growing up with Jason and the Argonauts and with Clash of Titans and you know, Sinbad and all these movies they were they were sort of trying to be like authentic with it and occasionally you get something like 300 which is a super badass movie but it's so stylized that you're like well it's a stylized version of that movie mm -hmm. Um, and Immortals was beautiful, the, the movie that the bros wrote. It's a gorgeous like piece of directorial artwork. Uh, it's like very golden, it's this and that. We just wanted to do Greek mythology. Just, we just wanted to be the sort of the, the one place you can go to get like the, the beautiful version that you picture in your mind that you've grown up with, but a little bit anime on top of that. And cool deaths. So and cool yeah. this, can't go wrong with that. Listen, Netflix was great. Working with them was great. Working with Sean was again, a blessing. We were involved creatively the whole way through with, with Immortals. It's a director driven medium film. And you know, we had gotten rewritten twice and, and still very proud of that film, but there's more of us in this show. 
And, and, and thank God, you know, Sean, again, just did a, a wonderful job, brilliantly directed it, really brought about the moments, crafted them, tied them together, brought that cinematic, you know, component to it. And, you know, Charlie and I just couldn't be more proud of the show. And for better or for worse, it, it, it's a story that all of us here wanted to tell. And, and we hope, as Spielberg says, you know, an audience tells you what you have. And we hope that that audience agrees with us and, and likes it as, as much as we do and enjoyed, enjoys it as, as much as we enjoyed making it. I really, truly think they will. I do. I'm ready for season two. Let's do it. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you.